Hey, hey, YouTube family, how you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about Miss Tasha K and Grammy Award winner rapper Cardi B. It looks like Cardi B is uh, Tasha K's um, appeal. She did not um, win the appeal. So Cardi B has given been given the green light to cease Tasha K's property to satisfy that four million dollar judgment. Um, just a little background information, if you don't know, a little quick history. A uh, lawsuit was filed by Cardi B in 2019 because uh, Cardi, you know, defamation, and Cardi B said that um, you know Tasha K, amongst some other things, said Cardi B had the bumps. Cardi B was a uh, you know uh, a girl, woman on the street. Um, uh, she cheated on her husband, used hard drugs allegedly. So in 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 Tasha K's videos, I guess she had been asking Cardi B had been asking Tasha K to take it down. Tasha didn't, so she sued Tasha K in 2019. She ended up ha uh, winning a four million dollar judgment. Tasha K appealed it last month. She lost the appeal, so now Cardi B can go after. Um, it looks like she obtained legal documents. Uh, they filed a writ of execution against Tasha K and Kibi Studios in Georgia just uh, uh, last Thursday. She can now legally seek ways to collect on that judgment. Uh, Four million dollars, that's some scary shit. That is really frightening to be able to owe someone that much money. Uh, and Tasha K, uh, this is a hard one because I think Tasha K is very talented as a vlogger and a youtuber but i think in this case if i had any advice for uh, miss tasha k is i would just you know what keep it simple i would embrace what is and just learn from it i would pay cardi b every dime that uh that that's owed just pay her back if you can work out a payment arrangements with the attorneys do that but let's just let's just pay her everything that we owe. Learn from it. You will not, Tasha. You will not be the first one to live a life where everything burnt down. You build it, rebuild. Because you can rebuild and learn from this. And you've got your talented vlogger. Um, you can get that money. You can rebuild that money back. You still got over a million subscribers even after the lawsuit. So um, you haven't lost there. Just start over start over but you gotta get there's no way around this four million dollar judgment there are no quick fixes there are no trickeries and all that um this is your brand and your reputation and um i think tasha k is very talented but if i were her advisor i would say work out a payment plan as quickly as possible pay if you can go on a 10-year plan use 10 years to pay to pay her off five years i don't know what the lawyers or what uh, cardi b's lawyers would go for i don't know but i'm just saying i think it's important to just for tasha k to clean you've heard that phrase keep your own just keep your own yard clean this is a big ass pile of shit in tasha k's backyard so tasha k's got to clean all that up and just clean it up um sweep up just clean up pay her off so you can move on with your life this judgment you you gotta get you gotta get rid of it and just start learn from it and start over life is not over as long as you're breathing as long as you get up and you breathe in the next day you, you you know it's it's a green light to go you still can start over so um this is this is oh i can't imagine because i I'm at a point like I am what I'm in my fifties and I am officially now debt free. So I can't imagine having to owe anybody no money like that. And I remember being having to owe, you know, when you own a home and cars and credit cards and bills, that's a level of stress that you can't shake off your back until you get rid of it. So I can't even imagine a $4 million debt. And I know Tasha K, and I watch her sometimes, depending on what she has on, I may check it out. But I do believe she's very talented. I do. And I think that she can start over and rebuild. Life is not over. It's just a bump in the road, and you just learn from it. 
but I do believe there's no way avoiding this. I know I saw, uh, I don't know if it's on Twitter or something. I saw Tasha had a list of, uh, other debts and Cardi B should get in line. No, Tasha, Cardi B needs to be the first. Give her her money, learn from it, humble yourself and just keep on moving. That's the way to do it. And there are people that support you and only want to see you do well. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think, what do you think about this whole Tasha K and Cardi B situation? Do you think that Tasha K should keep fighting for appeals? Do you think that she should just go ahead and pay it off? Or do you think she should keep avoiding it as much as possible? Um, I want to hear what you got to say. Let's have a conversation about it. I want to thank you for watching and I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.